Hi, Lee. I'm Simply Serene. Um, here I am. I just got back from a very reflective drive from Edmonton. Uh, makeup and hair still from last night. Very real in this moment. Um, and got to thinking uh, last night when I was up on stage uh, as one of the finalists uh, chosen by a panel of judges for the category of fearless. I was reflecting on my thoughts and, and being present in that moment. My husband was very worried about me going to this, being one of the nominees, and worried how I would react if I wasn't chosen. And uh, rightfully so. Um, it's part of what spiraled me uh, into a deep depression over the summer and uh, very suicidal. So as I reflected driving home on how I was up on the stage last night alongside two other women that, you know, I know of, but I don't really know. And just thinking and feeling gratitude and pride. Gratitude that I am fierce and that I am enough in the fact that I put my health and my family as a priority. I've stepped back from a lot and uh, I've been making conscious steps every day for my mental and physical health. And I'm just so proud of myself that uh, I stood on that stage, this beautiful stage, a very incredibly put together evening, looking out on all these people. And when my name wasn't chosen, I still just felt gratitude and pride. And as I went and sat back down with uh, some of my dear friends, four women of whom I had nominated myself, I, as, as the event went on, I could feel my disappointment that not one of the women were chosen as finalists in any of their categories. And it got me to thinking, who are we to choose who's a winner and who's a loser? In my mind, each of those women that I nominated, you are enough in your quiet change, in your quiet way of being, in your quiet way of living your dreams and your passions. One of the gals, um, her mom came up to me and gave me a big hug and tears in her eyes and she just said, thank you. One of the other girls um, who's just dealt with domestic abuse, who is courageously stepping up through pain and hurt and being the best that she can be every morning, allowing herself to grieve. I knew in that moment that the diamond I am fierce that I received was not mine to keep. And I gave it to her because in my mind, there's nothing more fierce than a woman who is stepping through the struggles that she is facing with integrity, with authenticity, vulnerability, that is fierce. And as I think of the, the awards, any award ceremony for that matter, society, you know, we're, we're very much about winning or losing. And uh, I wrote a blog post not long ago. I've been coaching my 13-year-old daughter's grade 7 volleyball team. And... Uh, the bug post was, it's not about winning or losing. It's about how you play the game. And uh, each person, every single human being on this earth is fierce, is enough. And I think once you find in your heart, like I've been striving to find and working on, is believing that you are enough that it's not about what others say or do or what you receive. That's all outside, external gifts. It's about what you believe in here. And you are enough.